Welcome to Cinerapolis, Forsk, Minnesota, and the rowdy, blood-stained Thunderdome. The fans have already moved on from drinking beer in cheap plastic cups to drinking ale and freshly harvested skulls. I, for one, am glad the broadcaster's booth is an old World War III bunker. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Carcass City Creeps take on the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. MFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. One speed, engage! What are you trying to impress you, nerd? And he finds open space and running toward the end zone! Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. And like breaks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed the beat for Ray Fair, but the ball didn't fall down. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. He goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Second down and a lot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And they're 
aren't many things better than a running back blasting through the defense for a big game. Max a pizza. Yeah, I'm sure you got pizza. Uh, and burritos. Okay, you make a good point. Oh, oh and pickles. Gotta have pickles. Saw bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw he never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot three. And then Cats will give them a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that'll be second down and four. Hot. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. <laughs> now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven what and kick the kicker's job in half they just be called sinners then the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. And it's first and ten. He refused. He snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. First down and five. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is... Since when is that a penalty? 
First and, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah. First down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Second down and two. And like a, he broke free and has open field in front of him. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Yeah. Okay, no, man, I can't. Come on, I have to get on the get on the get on the And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And that's a nice run for a first down. First down and nine. Second down in a very lot. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. <laughs> you know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, he was hitting mid-hurdle and fumbles the ball. He's at the 10. And he picks up the loose ball and rumbles into the end zone for the score. Nice going. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And he 
was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your aunt. Oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean, stop them into the ground. Second down and more. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Roid rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Love this dirty trick. It's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. They ought to activate landmines in the end zone during the dance celebration. <laughs> Be a lot more entertaining, that's for sure. And they line up for the extra point. Hey. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. He is fighting for every... And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the runner is going to break the ball, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him.
two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Yeah, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Still no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend, I didn't. Oh, I love this job. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. This guy's a brick first down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Some kid in his bed wearing nothing but underwear made a really stupid call right there, Bricks. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second, the offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second down and a lot. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. The timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's mad stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Oh, boy. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Wow, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. And he 
got enough. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? I'm a house camel and shell. I am a hell and I'll sell him. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the first set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and five. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin rampant on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. <laughs> comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot. And he just slipped away like a the ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. Hey, man, I was here on the now. You know what happened? Third down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. 
The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Uh, I love the murder ball that he threw. Oh, man, he really wants it. Nicely done for a first down. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Graham. These guys are doing fine by themselves. <laughs> Third down in the QB. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down and forever. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And they went to the air and came up big. position in football the mighty punter nice punt should move him back nicely he's got the ball now look and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point and a well-placed cleat and it's first and ten First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Well, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Roid Rage! How do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? One Roid Rage breakfast special coming up. Touchdown! Hey, man. You see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot three. Find the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out a flimsy low hand's nose. It's a mare in lost wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Hey. Oh, and the quarterback. 
threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Good thing to have a drug testing in the NFL. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick. But not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit nobody can what's math oh, exactly that's right hey what you talking about pal? and it's first and ten he caught it and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone except maybe self -dying. But he seems to have worked through it. Okay, back him. Get on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, I'm going to get it, and then I'm going to get it, and then I'm going to get it. Second down in a lot. Hot, hot one. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to it. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. Oh, nice time warp dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Ah, uh, did they? Didn't they just? Uh, my mind, or did that play that I saw just not happen? I gotta stop smoking them untidy laundry pods. Third down and 
Right. The punter is warming up. And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Second down and nine. Defense goes work speed. And that defender just turned up. No doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And that'll bring up second and one. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. That's a catch for a four-yard game. Second down and six. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. was there but he still picked up a yard somehow and they stopped the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game oh nice coaching move there hall of fame caliber well i mean it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game i won't listen to this blast for me and that play went nowhere fast no game <laughs> they've got one more timeout left but they've stopped the clock why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder to have it coming, right? Take the head, do something about that ref, you pussies! And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Third down and forever. They just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. And they take their last time out. 
It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Brex, I'm stopping it right there. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And it's first and ten. <laughs> the defense calls timeout. He must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And with one timeout remaining, the defense has to get something going here. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. The Mutant Eaters devour the opposition and win the game. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls win. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.